talks and all the wisdom you share. Unaware, I just did what I always do. Every day of the day, the same routine before I skate off to school. But who knew that this day wasn't like the rest? Instead of taking a test, I took two to the chest. Uh. Call me blind, but I didn't see it coming. Everybody was running, and I couldn't hear nothing. But that gun blast, it happened so fast. I didn't really know this kid, though I sat by him in class. Maybe this kid was reaching out for love. Or maybe he didn't know if he forgot who he was. Or maybe he just wanted to be hugged. Whatever it was, I know it's because... I thought that was a weird lyric, because it's like, well, if you want to be hugged, why did he shoot people? Because, like, that is a very strange way to get hugged. People run when you shoot them. Dog hug or be shot. <laughs> get, hug, get hugged or die trying. Okay. All right, let's do this. Hey guys, it's Kyle Interviews. I'm here with Gary from Silent Planet. Hey, I'm Gary from Silent Planet. This is my friend Pac Sun. Why don't you get over Come here, Pac Sun, and tell us all about what you do? <laughs> You're gonna be all out of focus. That's okay. You gotta come over here. Hello, my name is Pac Sun. I play drums and knock loose, and I'm really shy. I don't like cameras. I'm gonna go away now. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, so how has Warp Tour been? Um, obviously, a huge step up from last year. You guys were on Full Sail last year, and now you're on Mutant Stage, killing it, being famous. So what has it been like? The thing about being famous is people just hand you so much money. Like, I'm just like, I'm always like, hey, guys, we're Silent Planet, and I, I just, it's just like gold in my hand. my money. Just throw, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Uh, what, what's the difference? Uh, yeah, what, what's the what's difference, of, yeah. of like kind of last year we did the full mm -hmm. stage? Um, the, I think the most obvious thing is um, people are as or maybe even more familiar with the with everything with sound, mm -hmm. even more maybe more so than the night got slept. Which obviously last year uh, the record was still very new, and it's like you know you always get a little bit of hype when a record comes out, and people are like oh a new record, but then you wonder like well do they actually like it? Like will they? you know, five months from now when everyone's not talking about it, will they, you know, maybe know these words? And, and thankfully people have, and probably a lot of it's thanks to you for helping us promote it and, and doing the album, the song by song walkthrough. But yeah, people have uh, known the stuff. I think on this tour we're playing four of the new, four things from our new record is, and three from the old one, which I think last summer was like two of the new songs and a lot of old ones. So it's been really fun though. It's been awesome just kind of uh, rolling the record out and, uh, People have been receptive to it. Um, it's cool to be on a bigger stage too, because sometimes like you play before Guar and like you know that's just a very interesting life experience in itself. Like you're playing and you literally like, see like space aliens staring at you backstage, like sharpening the knife, sharpening their 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 space axes. Yeah. yeah. So, so space axes. <laughs> Seeing them vape without their suits on. <laughs> yeah, they they vape. It's true. I've I have seen the singer of Guar vape. <laughs> That is a true story. It's also an interesting life experience. Yeah, it's funny because they were talking in their like guar voices. Oh no. Because it was just an audio thing. Yeah. And so it was really funny to hear them talking like space aliens, but just being, you know, middle aged dudes. Yeah, exactly. But uh, it's pretty funny for sure. They're talking about how on their planet they don't have women, only men, and how he murdered his dad. When he came through his dad's anus, he was shredding a guitar and killed his dad. So that's a pretty wild thing. Like that's not something you hear every day. Yeah, that's you know, I, I think I was actually eating, and I'm like, wow, I'm eating like hummus, and like, oh, shredded your dad's butthole apart. Yeah, the guitar, the guitar, just rocking a solo. So yeah, anyways, pretty wild. Yeah. So all right, reflecting on last year, you guys were like the breakout artists. Like everyone was talking, Silent Planet, Silent Planet, Silent Planet. If you have to check out one band at Warped, it's Silent Planet. Um, and like you guys got Best Underground Band um, by AP, you know, yeah. at the APMA. So I mean, what was that like? Uh, did you ever think that Silent Planet would be like this fast running, you know what I mean? Like so, yeah. like was, catching like wildfire. It was one of those things where like we, uh, so I guess like AP like chose five or six bands for that category and then um, they opened up for voting. And so first when we won it, I was oh, that's kind of strange, whatever, you know, and it is cool as an award and, and, you know, I appreciate AP giving us a platform. Didn't think we'd win it because, um, frankly, you know, Knock, Knock Loose is, um, they're crowd, I mean, they're insane. Like, they're, they're hype and, and everything they're doing and they're a great band. And so when we, uh, when they announced it, first I was like kind of puzzled and then uh, after we won it, uh, our manager was like, hey, uh, you know, 
the, you know, like 69,000 people voted for you, I think was the number or something very close to that. And uh, that's when it like started to mean a lot to me because it wasn't about the award. It wasn't about being on stage or, you know, giving an awkward speech that I'm a minute late to you because I was taking a crap when they announced their name. But I think the really powerful thing was like taking a crap. Yeah, I was, I was crapping when they announced it. It's true. I, I was wiping, I think. But, uh, but yeah, I was, I was, I was in the crapping process, which is why I would, if you watch the video, it's funny because they're like, and the winner is uh, Silent Planet because they're British guys. Yeah, yeah. And then so, so then like the cheesy stock guitar riff comes on. It's like, and so it like goes on for like 30 seconds. And this this clip is like a 10 second loop, right? And so it's like looping, and people are like, uh, who's Silent Planet and where are they? And then like, eventually it gets to a lot of the the the, uh, the dude from. Uh, uh, gospel youth is like um, silent planet where are you <laughs> and it's like nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's so awkward but I didn't see my guys and then you see me sprinting down the aisle and because uh, when I when I was crapping I heard someone scream where's Gary I get out and Cameron from Bear is like dude you won an award you should probably go up on stage be crapping right now. And, and so I run up there to be, but it was very surprising and all that saves it was like this cool thing and then I realized like 69 thousand people voted and that's when it was like oh that's powerful that like that many people clicked it whether maybe they were just like oh, I'll choose that one because it's a fun <laughs> name or if it was uh, maybe people who like went through the survey solely to get to that category and say that and that was insane and I think not least had an also very insane amount of people vote for them it was very close number to that so it's really like to me it's like there's no like best I'm not into superlatives as much as like it's cool that people have been impacted by what we're doing and it's something that we never thought we would do because as you know we've been grinding and doing this um, since a long time ago probably before we even knew each other and we've known each other for like five years so it's been going on for this crazy long time and it's really cool so long-winded weird answer yeah no, no that's good that's awesome transitioning to your guys' record I know it's kind of a weird transition going from this to that but um, someone was asking about the color wheel on Twitter and so I just want to address it uh, that's probably the one thing we didn't talk about um, with the record so if you could just explain that real quick for people, um, what does the color wheel represent and how does that fit in with the whole theme of the album, yeah. the concept? Um, the color wheel is why I called it Everything With Sound. Because I, I took mental illnesses, you know, and we took archetypes and we took the Enneagram type numbers. And uh, the color wheel was sort of like my, like, I, I kind of, Sometimes I, I see concepts, even sometimes numbers or words like in color as, as much as that makes, maybe sounds odd. And so like these are like how I like the colors that I see when I see these things. And I really wanted to like, I wanted cross disciplines from like, because there's like theology and there's philosophy and there's like some psychology and some literature. I wanted to cross into art theory more. And so you have the whole color wheel and every song like has a color that is attached to me, like it, both in the sound and in the mental illness. So I sort of like fixed colors to it, which helped how we chose our, um, the ink blots yeah. that we made for it. So it's sort of this idea that like everything is connected, you know, every everything is sound. So that the music and the, and the concepts and the art, I want it to all like come together. Yeah. Um, not because maybe, you know, it, it was made to be together, but because like that's what creativity is, is a lot of times it's not thinking of something no, no one's ever thought of. It's choosing to like reach into like the, 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 the spaces that aren't being reached into and bring it all together. It's collaboration, so yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Now that your album's been out for a while, I'm sure fans are wondering, um, has there been any writing, at least lyric-wise, and, okay, so let's talk about it. A lot, a lot of writing, yeah. Uh, Mitchell has written, written a lot of music, um, and I've written some words, starting to really get to that place. It's weird, so when I'm like in the process of writing an album, I, I'm writing 24-7, like I, I'm dreaming about it, I'm waking up, I'm thinking about it. And it's a weird process because it's very fulfilling, but it can also be like taxing in a weird way. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at relationships when I'm in that phase, you know, because I'm like, like people say things and probably instead of like engaging with what they said, I start like analyzing it and thinking like, that's kind of interesting. I wonder what's another way to say that. You know, I, it gets, I just get in this really weird linguistic, space analytic yeah. space where I'm almost like you know I, I don't know I'm just interacting with words very differently um, and obviously words govern everything we we're always either reading or talking or thinking you know and, and a lot of times in words so I, words become like everything and so I've been entering into that space so that when we finish today of all days finish today uh, we will be just like I'll be very in that weird space so if you see me in the next seven weeks I'm sorry in advance <laughs> 
Awesome. Okay, well lastly, um, what is your favorite song to play um, on Warp Tour for this set? I think Nervosa has been my favorite on this tour. Like, it's weird, it's really weird, and it's like, it's kind of sludgy, and I, I can tell that some people don't really know what to do when we play it. Because it's like, musically speaking, it's pretty heavy, but then when I do, what I do is like, not the heavy thing. And then like, there's this weird like, I don't know, noises in the middle of it, and like, this song ends in a very like, gross sounding way, and I love it. I don't know, I just really like playing it. Um, I feel like we can be very expressive with it. I think that um, also, the song's about eating disorders, you know, and it, it's weird how like, you write a song about, so I wrote a song about native injustice because it, it blew my mind when I was started to really like look into it deeper and deeper and talk to different native people. And then all of a sudden that becomes the song that like musically people like. And so then it's like, well, I guess for the rest of my, my time doing this band thing, we'll talk about that, which is great and fine with me. But like, I've always liked to focus what we're talking about to the songs. So like maybe I want to really talk about, oh my gosh, like, you know, there's an oil spill on the Gulf, but I don't really go there because of the song. We don't have a song going there. So over the course of this tour, because we're playing Nervosa, I've been talking about eating disorders and self-harm um, quite a bit. And that has resonated a lot with folks at this tour um, and I have a lot of very powerful conversations. The thing about eating disorders is that it's, it's, not, I, it's not always, you know, a, a, a girl who's very skeletal, just yeah. so thin. I, I, I've, I've met football players, like dudes, like ex-college football players have come up to me and say I have an eating disorder because like I had to eat like this and then I eat like this and now I'm like this and, 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 and like it's really crazy how many people are affected by that but there's a stigma, I think. There's a certain classification of, okay, these people can have self-harm issues or have eating disorders, but like a 35-year-old dad, like, no, grow up. You know, we have this like idea that, oh, this is for, for young people or something, which is very flawed and very broken because like anybody can be susceptible to that. And so that's been a really cool song to be able to play that song and then uh, sometimes opens up a dialogue where people talk about it for the first time. Then obviously my encouragement is, who are other people you can open up to about this? Because I. Unfortunately, I probably won't be able to do this journey with you because of time and space, you know, and and so uh, encouraging people to seek help for that because it's very dangerous. It's the most actually lethal mental disorder that exists, and for obvious reasons, you know, because yeah. you're, you're starving the body. Yeah. yeah so. Wow. Okay. All right. So, um, I, it's like hard to end on that there's note, but yeah, the there is sap falling. Oh, that feels so cool. I, know, I it's like, like rain, right? Yeah. It's like 85 degrees. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Yeah. Kiss for Tim. <laughs> I'm taking over this interview. I want you to tell us, Tim Kayyem, what is the best interview you've had in the last year? It can't be me, I know, it's probably this one, but besides this one and all the other great ones we've done, what is your favorite interview that you want your listeners to go look at right now? It's gonna be in this box. Can you do that? Do I they do, do that, that on YouTube? I can do that. I can put, put it's gonna be box. in the box, it's gonna be in the box. <laughs> Make sure that it's not, it's not the devil. I don't want my mom seeing the devil. <laughs> And, and this thing. It's gonna be a Silent Planet interview. No, it can't be. It has to be something else. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. It's. I'm gonna break. The rules. <laughs> He's breaking the rules. What a jerk. I'll put this interview in the box. <laughs> so it's like they just keep clicking. It's so meta. Yeah. It's like an interview within an interview. I'm deep, dude. Dang. Super deep. A young person came up to me after your show and said, "Hey, did you see it?" And I'm like, "See what?" And they're like, "I just liked your page on Facebook." <laughs> You're like, "Yeah, I saw it." <laughs> and it's like. I'm sorry, I, I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't checked that in a while. I, I was refreshing. Because so like, it, it was like so clear to them, like, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. And I was like, bless your heart, that's so cool. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, did you see it? Did like, see it? So, oh, where'd he go? Where'd where'd it's, it's like on Facebook. Okay. Like. Anyway. So like him on Facebook. Do it. Do it.